Hi there guys, it's Nina here. Hope everyone is good. So today I decided to jump on a little bit of a bandwagon and do the answering slash addressing slash reacting to assumptions about myself. Now, I've actually really enjoyed this type of video from other people because it's actually quite interesting to actually hear things come out of someone's mouth and not just be assumptions that you saw online. So I thought I would join in on that because, you know, love a bandwagon me. I asked for assumptions on Twitter and also on Instagram and also on Curious Cat for anyone who wanted to leave anonymous ones. Um, usually anonymous ones are a little bit meaner. So I thought, let's get the real tea out there, okay? So the first assumption I have is, you love BTS. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure how you assumed that I love BTS. I mean, was it the mural that always sits behind me? That might have given it away a bit. Or the fact that I'm continually posting about them on social media, probably that. But yeah, I'm definitely BTS obsessed. I love them. I've got so many questions saying that you love BTS. Yes, it's not an assumption. I do love BTS. Another one I got says your bias is Yungi but you have bias wreckers. That assumption would be correct. My ultimate bias I would say is Min Yungi aka Sugar from BTS. Um but I have like a million bias wreckers. Literally BTS are like seven visuals and I love every single one of them unbelievably. I'm continually crying on a daily basis about Park Jimin uh, Kim Taehyung and uh, Kim Namjoon especially but I love all members of BTS like definitely not just BTS I get bias wrecked by other groups as well so I actually got two which are pretty much the same one says you stand BTS more than 1D and another one is like you don't like One Direction anymore so I'm going to kind of combine them um, and answer these so I've kind of answered this on Twitter um, a couple times because people always say like oh you like left the One Direction fandom you're like a snake and all this stuff to me One Direction broke up on December 13th 2015 that was when One Direction was over I was there I witnessed it I lived my One Direction life to the absolute max I saw them more than 20 times in concert I traveled the world Europe uh, to see them. I travelled the whole of this country of the UK to see them. I met them so many times I can't even count. So I feel like my One Direction journey ended at that last concert at X Factor um, in 2015, the last show they ever did together. That was when my One Direction journey ended and that was when they end ended as a four piece. I want to keep everything as in the moment as it was so I can always think back at that moment and be happy but I don't want to keep living the One Direction fantasy like One Direction have broken up I don't know why people keep pestering me about it like I've accepted the fact that they're probably not going to come back if they do come back it'll be in like 10 years maybe even longer so I've moved on essentially and I can never say that I don't like One Direction anymore because I physically cannot not like them anymore they were such a huge part of my life I stand them for seven years and that was probably the longest I've ever stand any artist or band. Um, so I could never hate One Direction, I could never not like them, um, I've just moved on and they will forever be in my heart. Oh, always bringing it back to Larry. But yeah, they will forever be in my heart and I could never hate them. So hopefully that answers that assumption. I will always love them. And I, I will always Love One Direction, ooh. I apologize for my voice. Okay, so this one is far too nice and I don't deserve assumptions like this, but this one says, you're beautiful and very kind to people. First of all, thank you. Um, I personally don't think I'm beautiful, but um, it feels really lovely when other people say it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of 1D again. You don't look beautiful. Yeah, I wear a lot of makeup, so maybe that makes me look a bit better, but I don't really think I'm that beautiful, so that's probably an a, assumption. Um, and I'm kind to people. I'm kind to certain people. I'm not kind to everyone. I'm not going to lie. I'm not that nice of a person. People used to hate me. A lot of people used to hate me, especially in my One Direction days. Um, I kind of want to make a video spilling the tea about my One Direction days 
and kind of addressing the fact or answering questions on why people hated me so much bringing up some of the reasons why people hated me maybe I'll do a video about that watch this space but generally I'm a nice person I'm nice to people who are nice to me and yeah okay so the next assumption is your favorite meal is Korean barbecue um <laughs> I do go to Korean barbecue a lot like I have Korean food far too often like it's getting becoming a problem um, I really love Korean food I don't know if it's my favorite food yet though I've probably had Korean food like once a week for the past year or at least a few times a month maybe Korean food is my favorite I don't know I don't think I've actually accepted that assumption it might be a correct assumption actually it's probably a correct assumption. Okay, this one is Blackpink is better than BTS. Well, you assume that I think Blackpink is better than BTS, or is that a question? I don't quite understand that one. Um, well, BTS are my ultimate favorite band, so no one's better than them, to answer your question. But yes, I love Blackpink. They're my fave girl band, and I'm seeing them in May. I'm so excited. This one is quite deep. Um, and yeah, I don't think I've ever addressed this. So this is quite, this is quite deep for my channel but the next one is you have depression <sighs> this is a hard one to dive into I could see why people have that assumption especially people who are very close to me because um, I do tend to post some pretty emo things especially on like my private um, Twitter and Instagram pages but um, I definitely went through a very very difficult year last year so anyone that's close to me obviously knows what happened and um, knows like how low I got last year like the lowest of the low and I did definitely go to the doctor and talk about things and stuff like that um, but um, I don't have clinical depression I'm not diagnosed with anything and I have, don't take any medication so essentially no I don't have depression um, but I did go for a really 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 um, hard time and I was really 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 sad for the majority of last year um, but actually as soon as kind of the end of the year slash the beginning of this year I kind of realized that I can't keep living in the past and um, some things are obviously meant to happen and if I just keep dwelling on it then I will just always be sad and I don't want to be sad anymore I want to be happy so I just decided to just kind of forget about things and try and move on so essentially no I don't have depression um, yes I was definitely very sad and very depressed essentially last year but now I'm actually in a really really good place I'm doing so many things I actually think this year is gonna be a really cool year for me I don't know if I mentioned, I think I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to Korea in May. Um, I officially start my Korean lessons as of next week. Um, I mentioned in another video I was learning Korean and I was actually self-learning, I was teaching myself Korean. Um, but it was just a bit difficult self-study and I felt like I wasn't progressing as much as I wanted to. So I enrolled in a Korean school and I'm starting that next week. Um, also, I'm going to dance class, which is so weird. I'm going to K-pop dance class and I'm starting that again next week. And uh, the first dance I'm learning is Ampan Man by BTS. So I'm very excited about this year and I just want to see bright, happy things in the future. So yeah, hopefully that answers your assumption. Okay, and the last assumption I have is you're rich. <laughs> You guys truly don't understand how funny this is to me um people assuming that i'm rich um <laughs> this is a hard one I, I think young people i have a lot of like younger followers who are like teenagers and probably don't work um but i am so far from rich i have a really basic job i don't get paid a lot um i just get like a regular kind of pay that people get in this country like nothing big um, I'm definitely not rich I know why people think I'm rich because I do do a lot of traveling I go to a lot of concerts um, but I also live at home <laughs> I don't live in um, like a flat by myself with my friends I still live at home with my family um, so obviously I'm not paying like a mortgage or, or like expensive rent um, also I work full-time and I don't really do a lot <laughs> essentially all I really do is 
go for dinner and save up for concerts and go on holiday. So that's where all my money goes. A lot of people thought I was rich when I went to New York to see BTS. Trust me, sister, I ain't rich. It wasn't actually that expensive to go to New York. My whole trip, not including my concert tickets, was like £500. And um, it really was kind of reasonable. Um, but yeah, I'm so far from rich, like you guys don't even understand, <laughs> you don't even understand. And to go to Korea, it's so expensive and I saved all of last year um, for this trip. So it, it's a big thing for me going to Korea. It's not like I have the money to go like tomorrow. I had to save up for it and everything that I do, I save up for. So I'm not rich, <laughs> please don't think I'm rich. I just save for the things I love and I work a full time job. Anyway guys, those are all the assumptions that I got. Um, hopefully it cleared up a few of um, your assumptions about me. Hopefully you know a little bit more about me. Um, I never really do like Q&As and things like that, so if you ever do want to see a Q&A or want to know anything more about me, please don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. I always read my comments, I always reply to them. Um, and if you want to reach me even more, you can tweet me or Instagram DM me. I always check my Instagram DMs. So do not be afraid to contact me. But if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like me and like my channel, please do subscribe. I like to make videos mainly talking about boy bands, mainly crying about BTS. But other things, I do vlogs and other fun things. And if you do like that, hit that subscribe or the bell button but thank you so much for watching this and i will see you in my next video bye